Sunset Conversation is a live stream project which brings in conversation international are related people. It is an alternative to superficial IG story content. To build up something with a stronger intellectual value. The conversation at dusk time revolves around creativity and dreams. Very natural and unpretentious setting. Saturday again, and we are live for another session, and I believe it's the session number nine of Sunset Conversations. Today we're going to host a very talented artist that lives in Tel Aviv. So I'm waiting for Shira. Join me. Hi, Shira. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. Fantastic. So meanwhile, we get some people involved. I'd like to thank you to stay with us today. And uh, I'm really, no problem. And I'm really happy to have such a talented uh, woman artist in my show. I mean, I'm really impressed by all your collaborations. And uh, I was thinking, how does it feel to have worked with big clients such Amazon, Microsoft, Roberto Cavalli. How do you deal with it? Do you uh, get stressed sometimes? Or you can handle all these fantastic collabor collaborations? Uh, that's a very good question. Um, I guess as an artist, uh, there, you, you're kind of uh, torn into what the one side of you that thinks I'm an amazing artist and everybody should collaborate with me, right? There's like, there's an mm. innate sort of uh, ego that you have to have. Wow. Bring your work uh, out to be seen. And mm -hmm. then on the other side, there is that insecure little voice that's uh, always asking, am I good enough? And I think mm -hmm. it's a really fine line uh, as an artist to walk in uh, between these two sides and create tension uh, that keeps everything sort of interesting in a way. So. And I, I feel it as well. You know, there is always the contrast between a really strong ego and a very sensitive fear to, to not be enough and to not uh, satisfy your dreams exactly. in a way to fail. Yeah, so, wow, I'm really impressed that you started with this. And uh, I, could, I could feel your ego as well. I could feel how confident you are. And as a person who draws line in one go without any going back and fix it, and you create this sort of a silhouette, I mean, that's something that you need to have a certain confidence to do it. Can you say something about it? Of course I can. I actually was asked a question about this and I answered and then someone else had told me that uh, Picasso had uh, answered the same way. And uh, I didn't even realize that I was quoting him because I didn't know he said it. But uh, someone asked me, how long does it take me to draw a one line drawing? And I said, I answered, you know, it's very quick, you know, it's like, it can be almost under a minute, but in some ways, it took me 36 years to draw this because it's the most pure form of intuitive expression. What's the thing that's inside of you is coming out. So if you are insecure, it's going to come out in your line. And if you are, you know, it really is such a, a mirror to what's going on inside. Absolutely. Um, yeah. I, I can, I totally agree. And actually I, I think there's a lot of connection with breathing while, while you do this line because you need to kind of sync your entire body and movement mm -hmm. and to, it's a sort of gestural thing as well. Uh, and also the, the tradition. Yes. Something else too. It's, uh, it's sort of like a dance. Absolutely. Yeah. Draw and your hand is going like this. You have to have your wrist really, this is a good tip for everybody. You have to Absolutely. have your wrist 
really uh, flexible and very free. Like a singer does, you know, like, ah, 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 ah before he starts to sing, yeah. you know, he practices with the mouth. It's really important to practice all the time because I feel like it's not enough to have, to have talent and it's not enough to have something to say. You really yeah. have to practice your craft and practice all the time to get it right. And a lot of people uh, that ask me about how I draw, I say the most important You know the most important thing is to practice and also not to be discouraged if that's if something doesn't come out right because mm-hmm. that is the most dangerous thing when people draw you know they start something even especially if it's not digital because digital you can sorry you can erase quite quickly what you drew when you're going raw then you can make a mistake and you can just get discouraged and say oh I don't want to do it anymore I'm done and then you leave it and you don't come back to it you And yeah. it's important to keep going, 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 and not let it discourage you. You know, if you, you messed it up, take a new paper, buy cheap paper, and just keep going, you know? And that's, yeah. yeah. Well said, well said. You know that the tradition of line drawing and abstracting human figure is the oldest drawing technique in the world. It goes back to the cave drawing. Yeah. And there's a lot, there a lot of studies about it, that, you know, that humans... Be- began by abstract abstracting figures through lines and that thing has come back and is it into every every person and but it's hard to control it and very few people can you know there's a lot of great painters that they they're not able to do line drawings it's just something it's very intuitive it's very instinctive but it's a gift so in a way you 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 are rooted to that culture of cave paintings. Do you know that? I didn't know it, but I feel very primal right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, like Tim, something right about... Now. Yeah. I want to know about this name. Your, um, I would say Coquette in... Um, how do you spell it? How does it yeah. happen? Uh, it's very difficult for people to pronounce. I'm, I, uh, it's, it's, well, okay. It's called, it's pronounced coquetit. Okay. Uh, and it means, it's, it's a French-Israeli slang word, and it means a, a very stylish girl. All and, right. Uh, I started this name because I had a blog for fashion illustration. My background is in fashion, by the way. I, yeah. I, was, a fashion, I was a fashion design uh, student. I studied fashion design, and then I became a fashion artist, a fashion illustrator. My style was very... Uh, Uh, figurative uh, I used to do fashion fashion drawings very very figurative drawings uh, and it that's where I originated but my roots are very fashion so the the meaning of coquette is stylish girl and then as I started to grow bigger and became more uh, mm-hmm. of substantial in my work in in projects and collaborations and work I was already known as mm-hmm. okay. so it made okay. sense for continue with the name but now as I start to grow on a bigger uh, international level <laughs> I find it very difficult for people to pronounce it so we'll see yeah I, I can yeah. understand and uh, I mean I can't speak about it I changed my surname so I know what you mean What's because your... of that what do you uh, I want to do something about your real name like Shira what's the meaning yeah. of Shira I like Shira as well Shira means poetry. Poetry. In uh, Hebrew? In Hebrew, yes. Very nice. Okay, Shira. So I want to know a little bit about Tel Aviv now. <gasps> I used to work with an uh, Israeli designer in London, Ron Arad, who is building... Yes, he's amazing. Yes. A, and a great guy as well. So I, I say hi if he's listening. So um, tell me something about it. I had... <laughs> things and there's lots of talent in there first of all uh, Israelis are very creative people very creative people and you know they say that creativity um, flourishes from uh, from a need right from 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 uh, lacking of something you lack something so you think about creating something to mm-hmm. fill in the void and 
And Israel has known its fair share of lacking of a lot of things, you know, very, very young country. There's a, lot of, uh, there's a lot of conflict, a lot of drama. And I feel like to be creative and to create and be artist is such a beautiful uh, way of looking at life. And it's such a beautiful outlet. And, and mm-hmm. uh, I don't know, maybe it's the weather. I don't know. But a lot of people here are very into the arts. And inside of Israel, there's another country and it's called Tel Aviv. <laughs> it's mm-hmm. not really a country, but it feels almost like a little bubble. Uh, okay. it's, the metropolitan, it's the biggest metropolitan city of Israel mm-hmm. and it is very cultured and it's very vibrant and it's very international in its, in its vibe. People are very open. Uh, it's very known for its culinary uh, aspects. Literally, you can walk into every single restaurant in Tel Aviv and the food will be amazing. Um, now, Life is crazy. If you ever come to Tel Aviv, I'll take you out. You don't, the clubs here are amazing. Thank you. And it's just a great <laughs> had, city. You've been? You've no, been I haven't been, but I heard about it. I heard the clubs are great. Yeah, they are. They're very not that great. Other, but it's not my main interest, but I heard of it, yeah. Um, what about contemporary art galleries, performances? Is there um, a big scene? Um, yes, there is, uh, you know, Tel Aviv is quite small, but there is a lot of art and there is a, a lot of uh, different groups that combine and create different art events and there is a quite vibrant art scene here. Um, there are a lot of artists who choose to leave the country and go develop outside a lot. Of, there's a huge scene of Israelis in Berlin, for example. Um, but yeah, there is... There is a, an interesting scene here. Uh, I more like I do my uh, my work more from the fashion side, so I'm much more into the fashion world than the art world. I'm I just see, now yeah. to explore, but yeah, Absolutely. what I see, quite cool. <laughs> great, great. So, uh, Shira, tell me something about. You know, I read on your website some very beautiful words because first you describe how, you know, well-recognized you are. And then you speak about how human you are. You know, you just write about the, the smell of grass and your, your nephew, Dylan, I think, and about your dog. And, I, and you put those things together, which yes. is quite uncommon, I have to say. Really? But I really like really? Uh, I mean, at least uh, where, I, where I hang around, mm. uh, we're generally a bit drier, perhaps, when we describe ourselves professionally. And I really like the way you expressed yourself. You know, also you said, and I don't do iPads. You know, you, you end with this sentence that I you don't, don't have an iPad or no, something. No, I, I do. I do have an iPad. Okay, so what like was it? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I do. Oh, I do you have my iPad. Okay, so maybe it was a joke or something. Maybe. It got lost in translation, but yeah. Oh, absolutely. Maybe that's why, because I was translating it from Hebrew. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Happened, but this is my baby. This is my okay. iPad. Okay. But I hope, I hope the smell of grass is, is real, right? It's yes. not a yeah, It is. Just, the smell of fresh, fresh cut, cut grass is absolutely my favorite because it reminds me of my childhood. Um, I think that, yeah, I, I don't know, maybe it's a cultural thing, but here in Israel, we don't do dry. Everybody here is very unofficial, very casual. You know, we go to weddings in jeans. Nice. You know, very, uh, you, treat, you treat your cab driver as if they're your, your brother, you know? It's very, very warm community. So I think right. it's us as a human, as, as, pe- as a community, as a people. But also for me personally, um, I, really, I really recognize myself as, first of all, a human being. I try to be as good as I can. It's just my values, you know? I try to be warm and open and and try to hurt as as many as least people as least things around me you know i'm a vegan um very left 
in my political ideas, you know, I'm very like humanistic in my nature. So I, it's important to me for it to come across because if I'm describing myself, I, my art, I have to also describe who I am as a human. Mm -hmm. so. Very nice, very nice, very nice, Shira. Uh, you seem a very interest, interesting human. So oh. tell me what you do in those days when your ego is uh, at the peak. And then when you do in those days when you think there's something not working in yourself. Okay. It's interesting because I was just talking about it the other day uh, with a friend and I told her that for me it's easier to think about it in the form of muse. Um, mm -hmm. Someone once said something and it really stu stuck with me. We are, you know, being ego is all about saying me, 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 me. And for me, it's much easier if I think that there is a muse floating around in the sky somewhere. And whenever I sit to draw, uh, she can come and she can lay on me and she can help me create. And sometimes mm -hmm. she comes and it's amazing. I'll have like such a super productive uh, work session and I will create amazing things and I will be so excited. So instead of going like this to myself, I go like this. Got nice. The difference nice. between going like this and between going like this because this brings better karma. So Absolutely. thank you to the muse and you know, I let her go. Da, 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 da. And then on other days, this is like the positive way, the positive side of having positive, you know, being creative, that side. And then on the negative side, it's also positive because if you're like creating and shit doesn't come and you, you don't have to be cross with yourself. You're just saying to yourself, okay, Muse didn't come today. She's yeah, not here. Yeah. Where is she? She's not here. <laughs> so it's not my fault. You, you managed to deal with it. It's and you, you know, it's a collaboration. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. With the divine. Great. And Shira, I mean... I'm I'm really happy that you're saying all these things, you know. The, I, I I agree a lot, and I, I feel we. I didn't know about this because I never met you before, but I I think we connect really well. Um, I think we we're getting to an end. I'm trying to keep these conversations shorter recently. Um, is there something you'd like to say? Like you you already gave a, a really good message which is to do with karma and another practical message, which is to do with movement and dancing and wrists. I mean, I want you to say something, to share something. I mean, you can tell anything you want, but just one, spend one word to say not to have fear to draw, because I think what you have is a total freedom of not feeling wrong while you draw. And, you know, I think what's stopping people to draw is that fear of the initial line. Yes. I think, for me, one of the most amazing things about creating is, uh, is inspiring others because I know what it feels like when I get inspired by other people. Uh, if I come across an amazing artist and I see that he's doing amazing things, I'll get so inspired and... I will run home and I will work, I will draw, I will create. So I know what that feels like. So when people write to me and they tell me, uh, your art is so inspiring to me, it's, so, it's such an amazing feeling. I would like to encourage people to look for inspiration, to look around and to look at life and to look at beauty and get inspired to bring more beauty, beauty to themselves, beauty to others, beauty to the world, and just create, create, create. Because I think without creating, it's, you know, the water is stagnant, it's not moving, and we need movement, we need dynamic movement. Right. So just create, not be afraid. With inspiration, everything is possible. Absolutely, we need uh, dynamicity and movement, yeah. and uh, that will free like up. Kind of, they, they look like water to me. There's that water. Uh, no, they are my paintings. Yeah, they look amazing, but they are they are line line based drawings as well. 
So made by thousands of lines, about a million line uh, lines for each painting. Wow, that's amazing! Looks really good. I'll, uh, I'm trying to do a show in uh, Tel Aviv next year, so I will definitely let you know about it. Yeah, do that. Fantastic words, and uh, I think your karma is just going to get better and better, and it will bring you back amazing things in life because you have a good heart. Wow, thank you so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> right. So I'm, I'm sure I'm going to see you at some point. Yes. I wish you a good weekend. And thanks again for staying with us today. Thank you for inviting me. I had a lovely time. Ciao, ciao. Bye. Kiss, kiss. <laughs>